we are discussing about the current mirrors and in that one till now we have discussed about the simple current mirror gain how to calculate gain how to calculate output resistance how to calculate the minimum voltage across output terminals required to keep the current constant those are the things we have calculated and next the disadvantage of simple current mirror we have seen and how to overcome the disadvantages with cascode current mirror what is its advantages how to achieve that one and what is the disadvantage of cascode current mirror and the modified current mirror also we have considered and the other types of current mirrors just we have named that one one is Wilson current mirror the other is nothing but regulated cascode current mirror that we will discuss later and before that one we are going to discuss about different analysis techniques one is sensitivity analysis, the other is temperature analysis, the other is nothing but transient response. These are the three things we are discussing now. So in that one, first one is sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity analysis gives information about sensitivity of output current to some parameter. That may be either power supply, that may be a component of current mirror, that is it may be a resistor, and if you are going to connect any other component that component also can be taken into account so sensitivity analysis is nothing but sensitivity of output parameter in this case output current how output current is sensitive enough for the changes in the input parameters so if you are considering it as power supply sensitivity of power supply sorry sensitivity of output current with respect to power supply can be defined as like this S I naught of VDD is equal to limit delta VDD tends to zero delta I naught by I naught by delta VDD by VDD delta I naught is change in output current and delta VDD is nothing but change in power supply so this is the ratio and whenever we are removing this limp delta VDD tends to zero at the time this deltas are going to be converted into do partial differentiation so this is the final expression for the sensitivity of I naught to VDD. So for the fluctuations in VDD, how output current responds and what is the maximum change you may be get in the output current can be calculated from this equation. S I naught of VDD is equal to VDD by I naught into dou I naught by dou VDD. Now we are calculating sensitivity of simple current mirror so we have defined the sensitivity and if you are going to calculate what is the sensitivity of simple current mirror that is first of all we have to draw the simple current mirror circuit this is what the simple current mirror circuit m1 m2 are the transistors for that one we are giving the same vgs so that identical transistors with same vgs that are going to be giving the identical currents since W by L is equal of one transistor is nothing but W by L of other transistor so that I naught is equal to I that's why I naught is equal to I is equal to we can write the expression for this one VDD minus VGS this is get and drain are shorted VGS minus VSS by R this is what the current flowing through the M1 transistor the same current flows through this M2 transistor take differentiation of this equation with respect to VDD VGS and VSS are going to be constant only we are considering VDD so that VDD by R is going to be the effective expression if you take differentiation that will be treated as 1 by R so S I naught of VDD is equal to VDD by I naught into do I naught by do VDD do I naught by do VDD is nothing but 1 by R simply this is the expression for the sensitivity of simple current mirror VDD by I naught into 1 by R so we will see with numerics what is mean by actually sensitivity we will understand this term very well by going through one example <coughs> before that one the same expression of S I naught of VDD can be just interchanged right and left parts so that you can write this expression delta I naught by I naught is equal to Yes, I naught of VDD into do delta VDD by VDD from this expression if you know the sensitivity 
you can calculate change in output current for a change in VDD that is what we will get from this one so if you know the change in VDD and if you know the sensitivity at that time simply you can calculate the change in output current so that is nothing but this is the expression which is going to be giving the information about percentage change in I naught as a function of percentage in VDD so from this one what you can calculate is nothing but these are the types of questions you can answer from this expression if VDD changes by 10% how much will the output current will change so now you know the change in VDD and if you want to know how much is going to be the corresponding change in I naught at that time this expression is going to be giving the answer okay now we are calculating estimate the variation in I naught for the simple current mirror for VDD changing from 2.4 to 2.6 volts this is a problem statement we are estimating how much change you are getting in I naught that is delta I naught for simple current mirror and that too whenever VDD is changing from 2.4 to 2.6 volts so total corresponding change in VDD is nothing but delta VDD which is nothing but 2.6 minus 2.4 that is 0.2 volts for that one you need to calculate delta I naught so this is a simple current mirror given in the statement okay with values as W by L as 15 by 5 micrometers and ID1 which is nothing but I naught that is nothing but 10 microamperes VSS and VDD is 2.5 volts plus as well as minus VGS is assumed as 1.2 volts so to calculate delta I naught what you are going to do is nothing but first you have to calculate the sensitivity and later delta I by I naught variation in I naught okay percentage change in I naught the sensitivity is given as S I naught of VDD as we know VDD by I naught into 1 by R the R value you can calculate simply like this R value is nothing but voltage across this R potential difference divided by current flowing through it we know the current flowing through it is nothing but 10 microamperes so what you should know is nothing but potential drop across this resistor one side it is 2.5 the other side is nothing but voltage drop this is 1.2 minus of minus 2.5 so this is 2.5 minus 2.5 2.5 minus 1.2 plus 2.5 total 5 volts minus 1.2 is 3.8 volts is nothing but voltage drop across this resistor that divided by 10 microamperes is going to be giving the resistance of 380 kilo ohms so R is nothing but 380 kilo ohms simple KVL you will get that expression and if you substitute all the values VDD of 2.5 volts I naught of 10 microamperes R of 380 kilo ohms sensitivity due to VDD is nothing but 0 0.658 0 0.658 means from this one we can know that one if the percentage change in VDD is 8% at that time percentage change in output current is 8 into multiplied by 0.658 that is nothing but 5.3 percent like that so that 5.3 percent we are going with effectively delta i naught by i naught is nothing but sensitivity multiplied by change in vdd sensitivity is 0.658 change in vdd is 0 0.2 divided by 2.5 so this is 0 0.053 which is nothing but 5.3 percent so we will go with what actually this 5.3 percent means and what is the estimated changes in the I naught for an I naught is equal to 10 microamperes the change in output current is delta I naught that is nothing but I naught will be multiplied this I naught now multiplied that is 10 microamperes into 5.3 which is nothing but 0.53 microamperes so change in I naught is total change in I naught is nothing but 0.53 microamperes whenever VDD changes by 0.2 volts so in this case when VDD is 2.5 volts I naught is 10 microamperes when VDD is 2.4 volts I naught is 10 minus 0 0.5 by 3 by 2 that is nothing but 9.73 whenever VDD is 2.6 at that time it is 10.27 
if you know the difference if you check the difference VDD minus this VDD 2.6 minus 2.4 is 0.2 volts and 10.27 minus 9.573 is nothing but it is 0.53 so as VDD increases I naught also increases if VDD decreases to 2.4 volts I naught also decreases to 9.73 micro amperes so this is a corresponding change the objective of sensitivity analysis the advantage of sensitivity analysis otherwise that is the designer it allows the designer to determine which components have largest effect on the output variable so that he can put interest on those parameters to reduce their effect the sensitivity of output current for a current mirror is highly dependent on voltage across current source that is voltage across m2 transistor i naught is depending on vds2 that is the meaning because channel length modulation as vds2 changes i naught changes so i naught is going to be more dependent on potential drop across m2 transistor